Hello there and welcome! In this video, we will go through help desk settings. To set up your help desk, you first need to create a mailbox. To do so, go to Administration and here you can find help desk. Now, to add mailbox, click on all mailboxes. Here, click on add mailbox and here you can add a new mailbox. You can have multiple mailboxes and you can choose which one of those are active and which are not. You can choose it to be IMAP or POP3. IMAP is better, but both of them obviously work. Here you have to type your host, which you can easily find out from your provider. Port in my case is 143 and here you can set different senders and set SSL authentication. Now here you can add folders. So if you have some folders in this mailbox and you want to choose a specific one, you will just need to write it here according to this hint. You can also create folders in your mailbox for successful and failed mappings. So if the ticket was successfully created in the system, it will be moved to success and if failed, it would be moved to fail folder. You can of course test it and here you can see successful connection. So now I will edit. By right clicking your mailbox, you can manually execute it. You can also view history, which is of course is empty now. Now let's go back to help desk settings. Now I want to assign this mailbox to a project. So as you can see in the message over here, my new mailbox doesn't have a project yet. So I should assign it to one. So I will choose, uh, for example, this help desk project. I will go to the settings, then help desk. And here I will see the help desk settings. Here you can choose the mailbox for this help desk. So I'm going to choose this one. Here you can choose under which tracker tickets will be created. Also here you can choose the assignee. And if you leave it blank, there will be no assignee. If you want, you can put there someone. And here you can also add coworkers. You can also set how many hours your clients have prepaid and also your SLA settings. And of course, here you can set keywords. This means that if the mail subject contains this keyword, it will be assigned to this project. The same can be done for mail and domain. So if you put enterprise here, it means every email containing enterprise in its subject will be assigned to this project. For mail or domain, it works like this. So every email from this domain will be moved to this project. Here you can also set your SLAs. To do that, just click add SLA and here you can name it. Keyword will be critical. So every email with the word critical in it will be assigned this SLA. We'll set priority to critical and let's set the hours to respond to two hours and hours to solve, let's put four hours. So if a critical ticket comes in, you have to respond within two hours and resolve the problem within four. And if you don't do that on time, your SLA will turn red and this might cause a problem with your client, but that depends. Here you can also set the automatic tracker and below you can set SLA working hours. So we can set it to our normal working hours, for example from 9 to 5.30. So the time will be counted based on this working hours. So for example if someone writes to us at 6 p.m., the two hours will be counted from 9 a.m. the next day. And you can set the working calendar so SLA doesn't count weekends and holidays. Now just click save and you're done. This was a quick overview of help desk settings. Thank you for watching and good luck.